Hey guys, back with another quick video today. Um, I wanted to kind of demonstrate and show you guys this uh, little $35 um, radiation measurement instrument that I got in the mail today. Uh, this is an old Soviet uh, device called a Beery, two, uh, Beery Model 2-1. And uh, yeah, it's basically a small Geiger counter, if you could even call it that. It really isn't even a counter. Um, essentially, any time a particle collides with the Geiger-Muller tube and it's beta and gamma sensitive, the slight flashes. So, um, yeah, it's not even actually a Geiger counter. I guess it's a radiation indicator. Um, technically, it's a dosimeter, and I'll show you why in a moment. But anyway, yeah, so on the front, it's got this like kind of cool graphic showing a dude reaching out for something radioactive, like who knows. Um, and on the front it says indicator, and I'm probably going to slaughter these words, so sorry. Um, but indicator radioactive nogo is, lu is lucinia, um, which basically, this is indicator, I'm pretty sure that I know what that means. Um, and radioactive nogo is lucinia is a way I think of saying ionizing radiation because radioactive logo means radioactive and then islucenia means radiation so pretty sure that means ionizing radiation instead of being super redundant but on the back you can see like a little dose chart here um, you know if it's less than 12 counts per minute I'm guessing um, and you have to manually count um, it's normal background radiation uh, thanks to my friend Alexander for translating that part for me and a number of other things here. But, uh, yeah, so if you get 12 to 24 counts, um, you've got 60 to 120 millirankins per hour, according to this. And then 24 to 60, it's 120 to 300 millirankins per hour. And it says if the thing's just going off, it's greater than 3,000 millirankins per hour. Um, and this means um, basically steady or um, like the light's not blinking at all. But anyway, enough of that. I will demo it by turning on the little power switch on this battery door. And you can, I'm going to put this close so you can hear it, but it's a little ticking sound. And that lets you know that it's on and is also a one second indicator. Ah, there's a little detection event there light goes off when it detects something and this is like a little keychain so it's kind of fun but anyway so you can put it in this which is some Vaseline glass if I get it in the right spot it'll get a few counts oops shite but again this is only showing beta and gamma so if this was alpha sensitive it'd be going nuts because of this glass but anyway, yeah, so that's it. Um, I do plan on taking a uh, page out of my friend Chris's playbook, and I'm probably going to cut this thicker plastic or drill holes in it or something and then put some much thinner plastic behind it. Um, so that way I'm not um, blocking low-energy betas. So that'll be kind of useful just as like a portable indicator to see if something's radioactive or if it's emitting beta or gammas at any you know, level. Obviously it's not super sensitive because the Geiger Mueller tube is really small, but yeah, kind of a fun little thing. And for 35 bucks on eBay, it's not a bad deal. Anyways, cheers.